Hello, say hi to a happy day and enjoy listening to the story of Ariel's Pearl of Wisdom. It was the night before the Pearl of Wisdom ceremony. Ariel was excited. On that special day, King Triton's his daughters would each take on an official royal responsibility. The day would begin in the morning when each princess selected a pearl from the palace's pearl room to make the occasion. In the afternoon, there would be a ceremony to announce how each planned to help Atlantica. Aquata wanted to teach music to young people. Athena was going to keep the coral reefs clean. Adela looked forward to volunteering with elderly people. What are you going to do? Adrina asked Ariel. I don't know yet, Ariel said nervously. I need to figure that out before the ceremony tomorrow. In the pearl room the next morning, each princess found her favorite pearl. King Triton hung the pearls with seaweed chains around his daughters' necks. May this pearls be a reminder of your royal responsibility, King Triton said. Ariel swam to her grotto to think about how she could help the kingdom. But then she spotted something partially hidden in the sand. She buried to uncover it. We have to show this to Scuttle, he said. When Ariel found Scuttle, she showed him her new treasure. Scuttle was a seagull who knew all about human things. This here is a thingamajiggy, and you wear it here. Scuttle reached her Ariel for Ariel's seaweed chain and hung the object on it. But the object was so heavy, it ripped the chain right off Ariel's neck. The pearl, the seaweed chain, and the thingamajimmy all sank. Oh no, Ariel shouted as she dove beneath the surface. Look, Flounder, there it is, Ariel shouted. She pointed to the pearl as it hit a starfish napping on a rock. The starfish swatted it away without even waking up. The pearl flew through the water. It was headed toward an octopus. As Ariel and Flounder chased after it, the pearl landed on one of the octopus's arms. Wait, stop! Ariel shouted. When the octopus saw Ariel waving to him, he waved back with all eight of his arms. The pearl flew loose and sank out of sight. Ariel sighed. I've lost the pearl. What am I going to do? Suddenly, Sebastian appeared. I've been looking for you everywhere, he cried. Ariel could not believe her eyes. There, behind his head, was her pearl. The three swam back to the palace. Ariel clutched the pearl tightly in her hands. She vowed to take better care of it, just as she cared for the objects in her grotto. At the palace, Ariel made a quick visit to the royal jeweler for a new chain. The day had flown by. It was time for the ceremony, whether Ariel was ready or not. After this, her sisters made their announcements, it was Ariel's turn. Tell us your promise, Ariel, said King Triton. Ariel knew exactly what to say. She wanted to share the joy of beautiful things with others. I'm going to start a new museum dedicated to collecting and displaying beautiful sea art in all its forms, Ariel announced. And I'm going to donate this pearl at the museum's first object, she added. The entire kingdom cheered and applauded. You have made a wise choice, Ariel, King Triton said. One in keeping with your generous nature. Today, you and your sisters have shown brighter than any pearl ever could. On opening day of the museum, Ariel couldn't have been prouder to showcase some of the beauty found under the sea. The end. 
I hope you enjoyed listening to this story, Ariel's Pearl of Wisdom. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to listen to more of our favorite book stories. See you soon!